Okay, today's video we will discuss on how to get a Google services for a Huawei mobile device. And before that, let's check the unit specs. This is a Huawei Nova Y70 a MUI version 12.0 40 gram 128 gb storage not for possible so you must be a 12.0 to process all these things right? you should have a Huawei ID and let's go to app gallery and go to me section check the settings go to country and region click it then log in your Huawei ID if you do not have you must create a new one and after that you may select a region change country or region and then you must um, type in Malaysia choose Malaysia and log in your Huawei ID again and all set been set on Malaysia region and after that you will go to search bar and look for an application called lighthouse so type in lighthouse and then you should install this app later we will discuss around what this would be how to be useful Downloading it and eventually start it after. Okay, now installing. After it will be installed, um, let's check what the description of this app is. By the way, when you install that, it has a uh, affiliate called Lighthouse X and let's check the app settings if it's already installed here we go let's check the app details why we should have to install this application well Technically, Lighthouse is an app or application developed to help users to log in a Google account and gain access to Google features. So we um, need this to have a Google account and access to a Google services. You can log in to Maps. Chrome, YouTube, and etc. So, after we read the description, next thing we should have to do is, of course, um, make a Google account. If you do have, just log in. I will sign in my Google account first. Just to make sure that we have the services. Because if you don't have, we can log in our account or our Gmail account here. So I will just type it in here to show to you that we have already an access to a Google services. Okay, I have to put my password. And after this, you will see that it is working okay and voila it's loading okay it's 
coming oh yes i have now my google account signing in so this is the reason why this lighthouse app is very important let's check yes it is this has been logged in and now since i have downloaded google chrome i must try to download an um aurora store it's same as play store in terms of user interface okay. also same i download portal wherein you can download all applications that we have to use especially those google dependent applications so let's download a okay let's wait for a while and after that you go after we download it go to your file manager and look for uh, that aurora store you download then install it once it was installed just open it and we will log in our google account in here so just click next 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 accept the permissions terms and grant all permissions that we have to and click finish and then we will sign in our google okay i have to log in first thanks for more and access all the features of this aura restore it really has the same interface with a play store okay then now it's already signed in and here we will download all those google dependent app that we have we have to download so because we already know that we are in this So while we're waiting, I just want to show you guys that this is 100% working and after you change your region, you should, you can turn it back to your designated country. You just have to change the region of Malaysia for the accessibility of the lighthouse but after we download it we can eventually pack turn it back to our uh, designated country oh, when you are located I think I must pass forward this Okay, we already have a Google Drive and a Gmail. Oh, we have a Google Portals. Let's download this. And here we go. Um, okay. A few moments later. Okay, I already downloaded some of the Google dependent apps. Let's check it out if it's working. Yes, it is. You can see my, my account is already signed in. How about this Google? It is working too. As you can see, it's finally worked. We finally have a Google services for all those google dependent application now i can back up my photos and files here in 
Google Photos yeah. now it's back up how about this one mm. I should arrange this after see it's very helpful this is a double Y70 and it finally has a Google services let's check settings again most importantly you must have a Google account to maximize the services of um, Google and here as you can see this is a new Novo E70 so it technically goes with a 12.0 AMUI version don't think it will um working on a lower version so let us now I think I should have download some more Google dependent apps mm, let's look what we don't have in here let's find more and download them those more importantly those what we needed and we normally use I know some of you is a Google Home user and reliant so I used to make this kind of tutorial for both of us to access these um, services and I think this will be really helpful to everyone since it's um, worldwide services that we should have mm -hmm. let's check more okay by the way I have already downloaded the Google map but if you want to use a better map you can use it too and let's organize this I will make this as a one folder and let's name it for the Google folder and what's next um let's download some more i think i don't know google docs let's download this i'm ready using this and i have uh, access so I should have downloaded this because it's very useful. Okay, let's install this. So if you're a really Google dependent and reliant person, this thing will be a really great help for you. Okay, Google Slides, I think I need this. I can't use this um, on my phone. Okay, what's next? I think it's almost done. Oh, well, Explorer later was an amazing application that I have to download and install. So, this is it. So hopefully guys, it will be helpful for all of you and I think I have done enough oh, Maybe later I will download some of the games that I have my 
will pretty well logging in that's it guys thank you for watching